Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to our brand new add-on showcase. So today we're going to be looking at Armorcraft, which was made by Tex20k. So for this add-on, this basically gives you the ability of crafting different types of armors by using different blocks inside the game. So as you can see right here, this is currently all the armor blocks that we can make right now. And maybe in the future there will be even more blocks they can make armor out of, which I actually cannot wait to see what else is to come within this add-on. Because so far, it is really, really awesome. And guys, you can literally make yourself armor made out of wood. You can make armor out of stone. You can make obsidian armor. And even other types of armor from lapis, redstone, and even emerald. Which is something that I really want to see inside the game really badly. But if you do want to go and get access to this add-on, there will be a link down below in the description. And let's go ahead and get right into this right now. Now, if you do want to go ahead and get access to these armors, the first way of getting them is by using commands. But if you do end up using commands, just keep in mind that you're not going to be able to read this if you don't know Spanish because it's literally all written in Spanish. So just go keep that in mind. But if you want to go ahead and craft them, you can go and do that as well. So if I go and grab myself, let's say granite, and I come inside the crafting table, the way that you craft these is that instead of making the individual pieces like helmet, boots, chest plate, leggings, stuff like that, you can just go and make yourself a chest plate and all the armor is going to be compacted somehow inside that little chest plate. In order to equip it, it's going to be just like you're eating a piece of food. So as you can see, we now have ourselves the armor equipped, which is quite cool. Now I do want to point out that make sure that whenever you're replacing armor pieces, that you go ahead and take the armor off first before you go ahead and switch to another piece. Guess watch what happens. The moment I go ahead and put this armor on, then it's going to go ahead and overwrite that armor piece. And also, all the armor effects, they're going to stay on your character if you switch to another armor piece straight away. So make sure that if you want to go and get rid of all the armor buffs, then you go and take off the armor first before you switch to the next armor piece. But with all that said, let's go and see what kind of armors that we have here. Now some of the armors will go ahead and give you benefits as you just saw right there. Like for the lapis armor, that is going to go and give you resistance, which is quite cool. If I go ahead and grab all of the magma one, then watch what happens. The magma one is going to go and give you fire resistance and water breathing, which is going to be really good when you're inside the nether or even the overworld in the oceans. We also got ourselves the obsidian armor, which if I go and put this on, and this armor is going to give you strength and resistance and fire resistance. We got ourselves the next one, which is redstone. Redstone is going to go and give you some resistance and night vision. Oh, this one right here, I'm not sure which one this is. I think that one up there is the emerald one. But I completely do not know what this one is. But if I go and equip that, then it's going to go ahead and give you jump boost. But it also gives you regeneration. So then you got ourselves the stone ones. So if I go ahead and grab all of this right here. I'm not sure if any of the stone ones give you like resistance or anything like that. So we'll find out. And apparently it does not. And I just realized. I'm wearing this armor. And it makes it look like I'm covered with bird poop. Okay, do not even ask. It looks like cobblestone does give you resistance. We're going to go and try out these stone bricks really quickly. So that gives you resistance as well. So I think it might just be like the granite, the andesite, and the diorite that do not give you any buffs. And the wooden sets do not give you any buffs at all. But while they don't give you benefits, they do look really cool. And I like them quite a bit. So we got ourselves the other ones, which we got ourselves coral. Now if I go ahead and take off this armor, I'm going to go ahead and put on the coral. Now the coral one is going to go ahead and give you night vision, and as well as water breathing. And also, the armor looks pretty cool as well. And quartz will go in and give you resistance, which is quite good. Let's go ahead and look at the other one, which we got ourselves. I think this might be chiseled. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So that also gives you resistance as well. So we got ourselves the next one, which I think this one might be emerald. So let's go ahead and put this on. So it only gives you resistance. I think the emerald one should give you arrow with the village. I think that's what it should be. Because when you think of emeralds, Usually think of Hero of the Village or Trading and stuff like that. So then we got ourselves the other one, which we got ourselves Cacti. Now the Cacti armor, I have a feeling that this one would hurt quite a bit. But let's go ahead and put this on. And what does it give you? It gives you resistance. Alright, um, you know, it looks like it would be very painful to wear a Cactus top armor like this. It's going to get the Leaf one. And the Leaf one gives you absolutely nothing. We got ourselves the next set, which we got ourselves the Grass. So if I go ahead and put that on, that gives you absolutely nothing. But you know what? I like this armor a lot. Kind of looks like I'm wearing green air, to be honest. The prismarine. Also, whenever you go ahead and use a, like an armor stand on one of these armor pieces, then it's going to go ahead and switch between the two armor pieces, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go and put this on, and this will go ahead and give you resistance. 
This will give you water breathing and night vision. They got ourselves the sandstone variants. So it looks like the sandstone variants, they do not give you anything at all, which is quite upsetting. But now we're on to the special armor pieces, which I have no idea on how to craft these, by the way. I think it's going to be like on the download site somewhere. So we got ourselves the first one, which is going to be the ocelot armor. So if I go ahead and grab this, I'm going to go ahead and equip this really quickly. Now this one will go ahead and give you speed, and this is actually quite fast as well. So this will be really good if you're wanting to run away from mobs or something like that. Or if you just have like a bunch of endermen chasing you, or maybe like a bunch of zombies. But let's go ahead and look at the next one, which is going to be the polar bear armor. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on, and let's go equip it. I like the fact that it actually comes up your eyes. It makes it actually look like you're wearing an actual polar bear skin. You get yourself strength 4, and you get resistance 2. We're now wearing the chicken skin, and this will give you slow falling too. So this is going to be very good if you want to get down like from a mountain without taking any damage. Or just from a really high place. And now for our final two armor pieces. These are going to be armors that you will most definitely recognize. If you've been playing Micro Dungeons a lot recently. Which you got yourself the wolf armor. Now let's get yourself the bone armor. And if I go ahead and grab all of the wolf armor first. Let's go ahead and look at this. So for the wolf armor. This is only going to go ahead and give you night vision too. Which I think that this armor should at least give you maybe like some strength. Something like that. I think it would be quite good. But then we got ourselves my favorite looking one. And it's going to be the bone one. So if I go ahead and grab a hold of this. This is what it looks like on the character. And I like this a lot. It is honestly one of my favorite unique looking armors. That you can't find inside of Minecraft Dungeons. And if you want to get inside Minecraft with this add on. Then you can now go and do that. Which is quite good. You'll go ahead and get yourself resistance too. And you'll get yourself night vision 3 as well. But other than that one. That is pretty much it for what this add on this introduced to us. And so far I think that the creator does a really great job. And making all these armor pieces inside the game. And hopefully in the future. The, the creator will end up making even more updates for this add-on. With even more armors that you can go and craft. I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Or what you think of this. And if you enjoyed today's video. Then let me know by leaving a like on it. And subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now. I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Bye.